You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. India celebrates a number of festivals throughout the year which are a true manifestation of its rich culture and traditions. No matter whether it is a Hindu, Muslim or Christian festival, every occasion is celebrated with great merriment across the country. This was recently observed during the occasion of Palm Sunday as Christians from across the country commemorated the festival with much joy and enthusiasm. Christians in different parts of the country took to the streets with a fresh cut palm fronds in their hands as they marked the holy procession of Palm Sunday, the festival that commemorates Jesus Christ's entry into the city of Jerusalem before getting arrested and crucified. According to the Bible, when Jesus entered Jerusalem on a donkey, the crowd greeted him by waving olive branches and by covering the path in root with olive and palm branches. To mark this event, Palm Sunday assumes the significance of distribution of palm leaves that are blessed by the priests, often tied to cross of the worshippers in churches. In the day of the day, 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 the day of ഈ വർഷം നമ്മൾ പരമാവധി ഉപയോഗിച്ച് എല്ലാവരും ദേവാലയത്തിൽ പോയി ശുശ്രൂഷകളിലൊക്കെയും പങ്കെടുത്ത് സംബന്ധിച്ച് അനുഗ്രഹം പ്രാപിക്കുവാൻ തക്കവണ്ണം ആഫ്റ്റർ ദി പ്രൊസഷൻ സ്പെഷ്യൽ പ്രേസ് ആർ ഓഫേർഡ് ഇൻ ഓൾ റോമൻ കാത്തലിക് ഓർത്തഡോക്സ് ആൻഡ് ജേക്കബൈ ചർച്ചസ് ദി തേഴ്സ്ഡേ ആഫ്റ്റർ ദി പാം സൺഡേ ഇസ് അബ്സേർവ്ഡ് ആസ് ഹോളി തേഴ്സ്ഡേ ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് വിച്ച് priests of the churches wash the feet of 12 devotees symbolizing Jesus Christ washing the feet of 12 apostles before his crucifixion which is then followed by good friday palm sunday followed by good friday and then easter are significant events in the christian culture that mark the journey of Jesus Christ Jesus voluntarily gives himself for the suffering as a king many would say as a king how can he suffer but today we, as we are entering into the holy week and it is the season of lent and this is the climax of the season of the lent the entire week is in celebration remembering the passion death and the resurrection of jesus this holy week which begins from palm sunday and ends on easter sunday marks the last week of lent a period of 40 days which comes before easter in the christian calendar commemorating christ's 40 days in the wilderness traditionally a time of fasting and reflection india is a country where sufism has not just flourished but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities even today the teachings of these saints inform the lives of people and act as a guiding force for many One such Sufi saint is Hazrat Zahir Aulia whose dargah in Guwahati city of Assam has been integrating devotees of all religious communities for years. Take a look. Situated in the Ulubari area of Guwahati city, the shrine of Hazrat Zahir Aulia Khwaja Gan has served as cenizer of communal harmony for generations. Regarded as one of the greatest Sufi saints, Hazrat Zahir Aulia throughout his life spread the message of Sufism and peace. Devotees irrespective of their caste and religion visit the shrine and a feeling of serenity and peace ensues in them. Yahan sabhi log दरगाह पे आते हैं और सबकी मुराद पूरा होते हैं हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई ये सब लोग आते हैं बाबा के दरगाह में और पहले से भी आते हैं 1948 से 
ये चालू हो गया उसके पहले से भी बाबा है जाहिर अलिया बाबा और उस टाइम से सभी लोग आते हैं सबकी दुआ मुराद पूरा होते हैं और किसी के आने का यहाँ बधा नहीं है कि वो बाबा दरगाह है और सभी इंसान को मुराद पूरा होते हैं सभी इंसान आते हैं जब भी कोई मुसीबत होता है कोई परेशानी होता है कोई बच्चे को कुछ इंटरव्यू है परीक्षा है उस टाइम पे सभी लोग सभी धर्म के लोग आते हैं Coming from all across the district, these devotees visit the shrine to seek the blessings of holy saint. It is believed that saint fulfills the wishes of all, and nobody returns empty-handed from here. India to ek man, ap jante hi ye, ye ek completely democratic country hai, aur har religion ka yaha pe equal opportunity milta hai. Mera visar se, isliye yaha pe Hindu मुस्लिम या ईसाई ये मतलब ठीक नहीं होगा धर्म के लिए तो पहले धर्म ही होता है यहाँ पे कोई कम्युनिटी का मतलब नहीं होता है सिंस एजेस द सूफी सेंट्स लाइक हजरत जाहिर ओलिया हैव प्रोपोगेटेड द मैसेज ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिज्म एंड हार्मनी इन अवर कंट्री एंड देयर टीचिंग्स आर स्टिल प्लेइंग अ सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन स्ट्रेंथनिंग द थ्रेड ऑफ सेक्युलरिज्म Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Thousands of tourists and opera enthusiasts converged in northern hill town of Dharamshala to witness the traditional Shoton Opera Festival after over 2 years of COVID-19 lockdown. I am feeling thrilled actually because like it's been almost 2 years to and half years uh due to the pandemic and uh, where people weren't uh, allowed to you know gather and talk and chit chat but then uh after like 2 long years uh, it's been wonderful to be around people celebrate laugh and talk and talk about your lifetimes and that's all Traditionally the Shoton festival is celebrated on a full moon day to mark the end of long summer retreat of buddhist monks it originated at the drepang monastery of lhasa in tibet around the 14th century several opera troupes from across the world performed mask dances chanted hymns and sang at the festival the festival took its name from sho or yogurt served to the monks and nuns who practiced purification rituals during the time and ate no meat during full moon days Bollywood actress Sonakshi Sinha showcased her lockdown artwork in India's entertainment capital Mumbai. Thoda bahut lockdown mein banaya thoda bahut lockdown se pehle bhi banaya and I think ye mujh mein sketching ki aadat thi bachpan se hi and I think I took it one step forward maine painting karna shuru kar diya aur jaise hi paints mere haath mein aaye aap dekh sakte hain ki kitna sare paints ko canvas pe utar diya maine and I it's very peaceful and calming for me the whole experience. Sina said she has always been interested in sketching and during her free time amid the coronavirus lockdown she picked up the brush and started painting as well. She is also supporting budding artists through her initiative as she feels that they have been the hardest hit during the pandemic. India administered booster doses of COVID-19 vaccine to all adults although free third doses will be limited to frontline workers and those older than 60 who get them at government centers. The country has given 1.85 billion vaccine doses among its population of 1.35 billion. Of these 82% are AstraZeneca dose made domestically and called Covishield. मेरा टाइम जो था बूस्टर डोज के लिए वो ऑलरेडी कंप्लीट हो गया था मेरी सेकेंड डोज जून में लगी थी तो मैं वेट कर रही थी कब एटीन प्लस के लिए स्टार्ट होगा तो आज से स्टार्ट हुआ तो मैंने फर्स्ट डे ही इसको लेना प्रेफर किया दोज ओल्डर देन एटीन हु रिसीव द सेकेंड डोज नाइन मंथ्स अगो विल बी एलिजिबल फॉर दी प्रिकॉशन डोज दी हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री सेड यूजिंग दी गवर्नमेंट स्टम फॉर बूस्टर्स The booster program started in January limited to frontline workers and elderly administering a total of 24 million doses.
festivals in India are all about cherishing the occasions collectively and spreading joy and happiness. The same was observed during the Ram Navmi celebrations when Muslims in various parts of the country were seen serving drinking water to their Hindu brethren amid soaring temperatures. Festivals in India are not only a show of the colourful traditions and rich heritage, but also portray a picture of the inclusive and multicultural societal framework that exists in the country. Recently, on the occasion of the Hindu festival of Ram Navmi, several incidents were spotted across the country where people of other communities contributed to the celebrations. In Kalburgi city of Karnataka, when scores of Hindu devotees gathered for a religious procession at the Khadri Chowk of Kalburgi amid scorching heat, their Muslim brethren distributed juice and water as a mark of respect and religious brotherhood. For the Ram Bhaktaon, we have done the juice and water and every year we do this to this talk. After the COVID-19, this is the third time, and this is the first time, and this is the first time. बहुत खुशी दोरों शोर से जो है ना ये प्रोसेसन यहाँ से निकलता है तो हमारा भी उसमें भाईचारगी के हिसाब का भाईचारगी को रखते हुए प्यार मोहब्बत से ये धूप को देखते हुए हम लोगों ने जूस और पानी का इंतजाम किया है। Similar scenes were also observed in Siliguri district of West Bengal, where the Muslim youth distributed water bottles and hugged the participants at Ramnavmi procession. They even extended their greetings to them, presenting a world example of communal harmony. A volunteer said that they distributed more than 4,000 water bottles in the procession. Our here was a small camp here. Ram Naomi ke subo sir, par ham log ne jal ka vitran karne ka ek faisla kiya tha, jisse prem bhav na bade. Log bahut dur se aayenge chal kar. Garmi ka din tha, lekin aaj baari suwa. To it is due to examples like these that India stands as an unbreakable example of multicultural and multi-religious society. Next, we move on to Jammu and Kashmir where the administration is all prepared to make the spring season a memorable experience for the tourists. From organizing various grand festivals to small level events, Tourism department is leaving no stone unturned. Lately, it hosted a folk music show in Srinagar to give visitors a glimpse of rich Kashmiri culture. Amid this beautiful weather, the cultural shows being organized by tourism department are like the icing on the cake. Recently, it organized a folk music show on the banks of the Dal Lake to acquaint tourists with Kashmir's rich musical heritage along with providing a platform to young artists. Our culture, our folk music, काफी उसमें जो है एक खूबसूरती है और लोग पसंद करते हैं जो बाहर से हमारे टूरिस्ट मेहमान आते हैं कंट्री से कंट्री से बाहर से तो वो बड़ा जबरदस्त उनको अच्छा लगता है और मुझे लगता है कि इसी चीज को हम प्रमोट करना चाहते हैं यहाँ के हैंडीक्राफ्ट्स को यहाँ के कुर्जीन को यहाँ के हेरिटेज को और यहाँ के कल्चर को खास तौर से एज ए टूरिज्म पर ये ये हम लोगों की कोशिश शुरू से रही है कि जहाँ हम टूरिज्म प्रमोशनल इवेंट्स करते हैं वहाँ हम यंगेस्टर्स को मौका देते हैं उनके जरिए से जो फोक म्यूजिक होता है इसमें एक नई लेयर होती है नए नौजवानों को अट्रैक्ट करता है तो उससे एक ऑडियंस को भी मज़ा आता है और उसके साथ साथ हमारे जो लेजेंडरीज यहाँ हैं फोक म्यूजिक में भी जैसे आपने अभी देखा नूर मोहम्मद जैसा है बंदा इनको भी हम मौका देते हैं ताकि दोनों चीज़ों को साथ साथ चला करके हम कल्चर एंड टूरिज्म को आगे बढ़ाएं Folk music is one of the colorful aspects of Kashmir's culture and has always been an attraction to national and international tourists. The melodious compositions of Kashmiri Santur and Rabab have always captivated the audience. The same was witnessed at the folk music show where both the young and legendary artists were seen entertaining the spectators with their beautiful renditions. Praising the initiative, locals said that this is a wonderful way to help people know about Kashmir. 
जब हम सर्दियों से बाहर निकलते हैं आमद एक नए मौसम की तो नए मौसम के आगाज में ही कई सारी एक्टिविटीज़ जो कि जो उज्जैन के टूरिज्म कर रहा है इसमें सबसे बड़ा फोकस है हमारा फोक म्यूज़िक क्योंकि हमारा फोक म्यूज़िक सदियों से चलता आया है और कश्मीर को सही तरीके से अगर जानना है कश्मीर की रग रग को पहचानना है तो कश्मीर का ये फोक म्यूज़िक सुनना बहुत ज़रूरी है और जब हम देख रहे हैं इस तरह की कई सारी एक्टिविटीज़ अलग अलग जगह पर इस वक्त हो रही हैं और हर जगह कश्मीर का फोक म्यूज़िक सुनने को मिल रहा है अब ऐसी सिचुएशन में जब इस साल हम देख रहे हैं कि टूरिज्म का फ्लो टूरिस्ट का कितना है और वो तमाम लोग जब आ रहे हैं और गाहे पर गाहे अगर वो किसी ऐसी जगह से गुजर रहे हैं जहाँ पर कश्मीर का फोक म्यूज़िक बज रहा है वो कुछ पल रुकते हैं और सुनते ये नई चीज़ क्या हो रही है उनके लिए तो कल्चरल एक्सचेंज का सबसे बड़ा स्कोप जो हम सबसे पहले यहाँ पर देखते हैं और दूसरी बात कि हमारे यहाँ का जो नई जनरेशन है कश्मीरी नए आर्टिस्ट वो आर्टिस्ट जो गिटार उठा रहा था अब कहीं ना कहीं वो रबाब की तरफ रागिब हो रहा है Besides music, tourists also enjoyed the Kashmiri cuisines, especially the teas and breads at the event. They praised the folk music of the valley and also the hospitality of locals. आपका music जो है वो बहुत heart touching है और folk music और मतलब ऐसा लगता है कि उसमें beats में हम सब खो गए हैं हमें समझ थोड़ा आ रहा है but culture music overall impact बहुत अच्छा है. We should encourage these activities. Again and again, so that young generation also learn this culture, and everybody in India should know that how uh, the folk uh, music and dance of Kashmir is important, and how it is good for everybody. यहाँ के लोग बहुत ही अच्छे हैं, उम्दा हैं। हमें मतलब यहाँ आने से पहले इतना idea नहीं था कि इतने hospitable लोग हैं, बहुत ही प्यार और मोहब्बत मिलती है सबसे मिलके, और जगह के साथ साथ लोग भी बहुत खूबसूरत हैं। Called as Sot in Kashmiri language, spring, due to its favorable weather, is said to be the most ideal season for tourism in the valley. And adding to its charm are such folk shows that not just lead to promotion of the local culture and traditions, but also connect the younger generation to its roots. And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. With neon lights running along the wall, pulsating electronic beats, and a glowing red shuttlecock bouncing back and forth, one could have easily mistaken this sports venue for the set of sci-fi film. But it's actually the shuttle in the dark badminton hall located at a fitness center inside the iconic Petronas Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur. It offers players a chance to play the sports in a futuristic space-like environment in a court that glows in the dark and accompanying luminescent equipments like rackets, clothes and shuttlecocks. Playing in the shuttle in the dark, it's completely dark of course, um, but with the lightning, uh, somehow we are still able to hit it um, and then it, uh, it, it requires better focus and um, it's exciting, yeah, it's different but um, it's still playing like normal. Shuttle in the Dark was initially set up in December 2021 and was brainchild of a sports management company which was trying to encourage more people to take up the sport after two years of social restrictions due to COVID-19 pandemic. Open to athletes at all levels of the game, Shuttle in the Dark charges 180 ringgit per hour to play and rent their neon equipment. These tiny but talented bike riders are participants of the latest riding academy which was organized by Yamaha Motors in Japan. Children ride these small motorbikes which is driven by advanced driving techniques. These kids are trained to handle motorcycles very safely. These children will grow to become good and safe bikers.
Michael Tete, Ghana's only professional glass blower, clenched his teeth as he gripped a red hot ball of molten glass. His burnt and blistered hands bear against a steaming stack of VAT newspaper he used to protect them. The 44 year old toil in the heat of scrap metals kills burning at nearly 1500 Celsius. Pregnant with melted window pans, TV screens, and soda bottles, he would soon transform into elaborate verses, swelling with psychedelic color. Glass that I learned in the bead making, uh, it became like my passion, it's like my heart. So all the time I want to blow glass. And glass is, 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 is a wonderful work. It's, you see how you are working with glass, it's expand. And it's like life, you see? Yes, it's like life, it's, it, it is expand. Life also expand. It's like a journey, yes. You go from one after the, the other. Yes, so I love glass. And glass is beautiful. Tate's strict use of recycled materials, which he collects from scrapyards and landfills in the capital Accra, is part of a stated machine to reduce Ghana's glass waste and what he considers wasteful imports. He envisions a Ghana free of foreign glass, having channeled its glass pet making tradition into a modern multifaceted industry. While some private companies recycle their glasses, Tate say majority of Ghana's glass waste end up either in landfills or scattered throughout the nation's street, posing a safe hazard. Keshu is renowned all over the world for manufacturing calculators. In Japan, scientific calculators are used in the classes of universities and technical colleges. 10年以上関数電卓の販売をしておりますで、関数電卓の販売先といたしましては、教育現場である学校さん、生徒さんへの展開となります。その中で現場の学校の先生であったり、生徒さんが関数電卓を使って学習をしやすいように支援をしていく